Assalamu alaikum habibati and welcome to another Arab Man Reacts. We're still recording, we're still recording, we're still reacting to the Dimash Al Mati concert. Um, last week it was Ave Maria and I don't know what to expect right now. So we're just going to pick up where we left off. Ya Habibi Ya Habibi This is one of the earliest songs that I ever saw by him and it completely blew my mind Like, I didn't even know the human voice could do the things that he's about to do in the song By the way, there was this, um, I noticed in the comments, there was this hater in the comments saying how this entire show was playback. Like, some people are just petty, you know? Some people are just absolutely petty. And then there were some good-natured people in the comments pointing out to that person that the only thing that's playback in the concerts is basically that bit of speech that he gives before he starts Ave Maria. And they're like, that's pre-recorded. The man needs to rest in between. Like, honestly, guys, when you get a hater like that, just don't respond to them. You don't need to respond to them at all. We know what this man is about. This man knows what he's about. We don't need to like counter it. If someone is coming in from a position of hate, there's literally no need for us to reply to them, okay? And I've had it in me for almost the past year and a half to create a video just talking about the improbability of Dimash um, lip syncing and why it doesn't make any sense at all and even use moments that were controversial and then I'm like there's absolutely no need for me to do that because true fans which are millions and millions of people they don't need that justification and the only people that require that justification are the haters and they don't really require it they're just trying to pinch at us to get a reaction out of us so the best thing we can do literally don't react, ignore them. Watch them reply to more and more comments, trying to make the same comment. And then if no one replies to them, they'll just give up eventually. They'll burn out. They'll feel stupid, you know, and they'll just stop doing what they're doing. Just ignore the haters. Shake it off. <laughs> Nice dude.
Just come on. My goosebumps of goosebumps. And their goosebumps of goosebumps. Niel, every single person that was at that concert that night. I'm gonna sound very arrogant here, but 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 just bear with me. Um, I really don't like online vocal coaches. I think that they're like snake oil salesmen. Not all of them. Obviously, some of them are incredible, right? Some of them really know what they're doing. But it seems maybe because of my search patterns also on YouTube, uh, I keep getting vocal coaches, vocal coaches, vocal coaches, vocal coaches, you know? And sometimes I sit and I watch their videos and they just say like the wrongest stuff that, 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 I mean, they always try to make these points. Like I saw this one video where this lady, I'm not going to name names. She was talking about how singers should never sing when they're sitting because your diaphragm and your lungs and your chest capacity. And I don't know what I've played music my entire life. I've got a thousand plus shows, right? Hours and hours long. I've never played for less than an hour and a half, two hours, you know, my, for years, for two decades, I've been doing this and never in my life. Like I've probably done 5% of all the shows I've ever done were me actually standing. The rest were all just me sitting, chilling, talking to people, you know, Th there's a lot of BS that goes out there. And the ultimate proof for these people is literally this man right here who decides on the most explosive note to sustain the note forever and a day while he's what? He's sitting down. He's sitting down. And he's not only sitting down, he's bending forward. So his, his everything is, is crushed, right? How is he able to do it? Okay, he's able to do it. He's able to do it. To me, I wanna just wanna send this video out to all those people that say those things. It's humanly possible for you to hit and sustain notes and do all that. And the position you're in really doesn't matter. It's, it's the emotion that you want to have to help you push that note further, which is why he's sitting down, why he's bending, because he's got a specific emotion that he wants to emote with his voice, and that sitting there helps it come out that way. The master, the absolute master, the absolute master, dude, the absolute master. It's all emotions, dude. It's all emotions. I don't know if you're going to be Humble and kind and generous and respectful. Ол тобы басқа болса да тілегі бір барлық жандарға әлемнен келген. 
Başkalarınızda rahmetinde ayıp, bu zamanlarda bir tavsiye etmek için verdi. Son olarak size bir rastlantı etmesin. Like he's actually bowing down to the people, dude. Ülkenin rahmet. Ah ya Allah. I think that has. I love this version of it more than the one that I saw the first time around, just because I think there's more Dimash in it because he's more in control of everything. He's literally made all the decisions on the entire thing, performance, production, effects, musicianship, um, the, the, just everything about it is, is his. It's got his sign off on it, his, his thoughts, his ideas, his execution. So it's, it's his entirely start to finish. So I really like it. Like there's there's zero outside interference or or, or thoughts or opinions going to this thing. It's 100% him. That's why I prefer this one over the one that I watched the first time. All right. I'll catch you all in the next one. I love you. Salamat.